Could you say several words about Community Day? About what? Community, community Day. Community Day? Uh, I suppose that uh, today is a very nice day and probably you have a very good emotional state. Could you say uh, something about, you know, some wishing uh, to the people? Some wishes. What people? Uh, that around you. They wish everybody had the beautiful shade of beautiful shade trees. Uh -huh. Yes, I wish I was standing under a beautiful shade tree that had been planted by LEAF's Backyard Tree Planting Program. It's our temple program, you know. Did you know that, Lee? I did know that, and I love trees. You do? I have do. you taken the tree tenders course? I have. You, That's 15 you're hours. Say, no, what's that? No, what's that? What's but I think you know more about it than I do, Reed. Why don't you tell me about that? I should kill a minute. Well, it's the most fun, most best 15 hours of education. I remember $60 now. Can buy. It was Those fantastic. Trees work. Was yours at the Toronto Botanical Garden? No, mine was at Metro Hall and then at Maple Leaf Cottage down there. Is that where you planted? We planted in Riverdale Park. Oh, you planted it? Oh, we planted in Toronto Botanical Garden. Amazing. I asked you if you could. No, I asked if you could uh, leave a little plaque yeah. for, because they have honorary yeah, yeah, plaques yeah, in yeah. honor of plaques, and they wanted hundreds and hundreds of dollars for it. <laughs> hey, the Garden Club has been around for how many years? Ninety years. Ninety years. Yeah. 90 years. We're celebrating our ninety anniversary this year. Uh, we meet monthly over at Seattle Marble Clubhouse. Uh, second Thursday, uh, sorry, third Thursday of every month. Uh, we have a lot of interesting speakers about all kinds of aspects of gardening. And uh, we have plant sales, flower shows, photo contest, pop up supplements. <laughs> and we have fun. We look after the rockery that's just over at the other end of the park. Could you smile a little bit? I'm your neighbor. <laughs> so, if you give me any mail, in the next week you'll see in the internet. Could you say several uh, several words about your campaign? Sure, so we're not far from the tree and we're a charity that picks fruit in the backyards of Toronto. So if you're a homeowner who can't keep up with your harvest, we can rally a group of volunteers who will come and pick your tree. And then we divide the fruit three ways. So a third will go to a food bank or shelter in the neighborhood. A third gets divvied up amongst the volunteers. And then a third will stay with the homeowner. There's lots of great um, uh, projects around battery storage. Toronto Hydro actually has two um, to that we're piloting right now. So, so we can put that yes. forward too. Huh? Yeah. Well, and there's a lot of people who will be looking yeah. forward for that. We're looking, you know, we're always looking to you know, improve the uh, situation in innovative ways to You can actually. I know. Um, well, not as technology, you, you know, as any more research, they'll okay. come down and try us. I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Where do they make that? Better? Better. 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 Um, I don't know. We're working with two companies. One's a Scarborough company, and um, the other one, I think, is sure they're local as well. Um, but you can read about if you're interested in the battery. Uh, yeah. uh, so we have um, a pole top. So it looks like a typical. Um, yeah, transformer, like it sits on a pole, uh, and that's out in North York. And then we have uh, at the Toronto Island, we have an underwater 
because um, it's compressed air. Else. And um, so oh, it okay, is. they compress air to uh, store the energy. Yeah, and then okay. store it's, the not, energy. it's not bad for that. Uh, oh, no, I guess that one is. Exactly. No. Uh, it's a different, yeah, it's yeah. different technology, but it does the same thing. Oh, but same, yeah. yeah. But uh, energy storage. Yeah. Energy storage. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the website? On our website, you can find it, yes, on the uh, Toronto Hydro website. Uh, Toronto Hydro. Yeah. No, people are building big, big buildings. And yeah, like, where's the infrastructure for it? You know, uh, but, but, you know, the uh, all these short zoning, what happens is something like that gets built and people are going, whoa, what can I do? I didn't know. If, it's, if they build it in the zoning, like, there's nothing we can do. So, the short zoning allows for a lot of that. And there are a lot of all these little bungalows, you know, are just built way below what they're allowed. Well, so you knock down those bungalows and the major disconnect going on here somewhere. For example, another thing, too, uh, uh, this is another question. When's that uh, Woodbine Station? Woodbine oh, what? Sorry? Blogger, blogger. No? It's a Mexican only. No? Are you with like a newspaper? Or no. Oh. Internet. Internet. I make uh, movie clips and uh, put it on uh, YouTube. Oh, okay. I'll tell you <laughs> She'll gladly give you your check. No, we got nothing to sell. What do we have? Sure, any trick would you like? Sure.